Hello, my warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, it is time that we're going to continue our series. And I want to build the Conquistador today. We have a new mech that is an Omni Black Knight. And it has so many good options that I want to discover with you today. So let's go ahead, wait a bunch of days. And uh, we're going to erase the recording for high morale. Because skinny dipping is always fun. Let's go. So, Conquistador, three more days, and I would say we're gonna actually drop the Crow uh, for the favor of the Conquistador. The Crow is running uh, two TS EMPs right now, and I want to keep those weapons, but on a bigger mech. I would say it is the perfect time that we're gonna say goodbye, and we're gonna bring that guy up here. So, first things to do is, however, I wanna swap some items around. The first item that I wanna drop here is the Narc Launcher and the Narc Beacon. And I want to put another weapon on this mech. This is an LRM-10 that we found last time we were playing. And uh, it fits perfectly. Absolutely perfect. Uh, it is uh, another 10 missiles that we can drop at our enemies at once. And there is not much more to do here. Except for also dropping the advanced AMS Mark II with a 540 meters range. And then adding another advanced optics Mark III with a 1000 meters range. So this guy should benefit from long range. Uh, and uh, since it is a long-range build, right? It's basically the same bonuses, but the range differs. So, therefore, we're gonna take the optics and put it to another mech. Quick question. Cooling is fine, right? Do we need the bigger exchanger? We have a laser AMS that'll fire occasionally and will generate more heat. Maybe a bit of overcooling is a good idea. We also got an emergency coolant system. Ah, I know what we are doing with this. Before we go, I'm no, I'm jumping back and forth a lot. Before we do anything, I'm gonna swap those out to match our, um, our pattern a bit better so that we have all the weapons on the arms. Gives us plus one accuracy for everything. That's important. And then I think we can actually go ahead and uh, drop a little bit of armor from the back and from the legs, maybe from the front as well. Something like this. So we can, we can take, we have, yeah, we have an engine heatsink plus two. We can take this. And we're gonna put the emergency cooling system to another mech. And you can already guess which one it's going to be, right? Tactics support, plus one. Tactics. It's nice to have. Wait a second, don't we have... Wait, 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 wait. Don't we have something like gunnery... B? Yeah, we have two gunnery B. Make this the most accurate mech in the world. I really want that. Those LRMs are important to me, so... Let's do it just like that. Cool. So we got that. Now, on the Black Knight, what are we doing on the Black Knight? First of all, uh, we can see we don't have the most room in here. There's an XXL gyro and the light engine. Not the best, but we also got an internal repair system, which is going to be amazing. We dropped the mace. I don't want to make it melee. And I think we also dropped the hand. And I also need cooling. This is the first thing that we're going to start out with. We're going to add some cooling to the mech. We go with a clan heatsink kit or a proto double heatsink kit. Can we stack energy stuff here? Does that make sense? How many protos do we have? Four. Four is not a lot. I think I wanted to put protos into my into my Marauder. Wait a second. There was something that we wanted to do and we couldn't because we didn't have the items, but now we have the items. Let me see if we can make this guy a bit better. It's running radical doubles. Emergency coolant plus two. It seems good. But I think we can make it better. 105 to 102. So it's a delta of 3. The difference is 3 heat. Uh, let's see if we go proto here. Drop the doubles. We have a heat battle computer already. So that's cooling. That we cannot add on top of this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think they also nerfed the proto double heat things, right? Yeah, they used to negate 3 heat build up. Now they only negate 2%. Um, but anyway. Is this it? It is not. It is worse. Oh, it is worse. You really need to stack those now. And the percentage built up uh, reduction, it is not applied to those internal heat sinks. You only get the four heat cooling, so that's not working. Unfortunate. We would save slots though, and with those slots, we are able to put some kind of um, armor upgrades, which we don't really have. We needed clan, barrow. In order to get value out of this. AMS Mark II. We are not really we are not really getting there, guys. I wish I had another cooling jacket. 
AMS Mark II. I wonder if I should put it on the Conquistador, make it a command mech. But what are we doing with this here? Let me quickly go back. And I'm not clicking this uh, revert button because it's broken. So I have to get out of here and get in again. And don't worry, guys. This uh, building part is not going to take long. The AMS Mark II, gone. You cannot really add anything, right? Gunnery, we have tracking, medium range gunnery, beat headshot. Um, by now we also got ballistic, range recoil. Range would be nice for the snubs specifically because they have damage fall off at range. I think I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put the range battle computer in here. Then we have another one, but not the slots for another double heatsink. What is the last turn? Active prop is good already. Angel ECM is good already. And cockpit. Oh, ho, 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 wait a second. Give me a moment. Don't we have the pinnacle? The DNI cockpit. Gives us gunnery, gives us piloting, gives us initiative, gives us um, max evasion. It does not help us getting better at specific components. No, that's. Uh, enhanced imaging that we needed. Mm, almost. And this interface cockpit is also not giving it. Right? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. DNI, by the way, only needs neural implants for the moving after shooting part. That is the thing. Every L, everything else is. It's good, and we're gonna take that and keep that. Sure. Get out of here. Plus one gunnery is coming back here. Right. Oh, wait. I just realized, it doesn't even take weight, so we still have a ton. Okay. We have a cool shot. Do we need the cool shot? Maybe. It's a ton in one slot. You know what? I'll take that. Let's put it in here. Alright, I, th I think we just made this guy so much better. Tracker is good, gunnery is good, DNI is good, exchanger is good, everything's good. So, yeah, we don't have any PPCs, right? Any clan PPCs, no. Cool. So, that's the Marauder. That AMS Mark II is gonna come in very handy. And again, I just kind of want to make this make some kind of dedicated command mag, some kind of toolkit more than anything else. And we're gonna start with the repeating TSEMP and a TSEMP cannon uh, as well. With that being said, I want both my AMSs now. I have an AMS Mark II here. That goes into, I don't know, the side torso and another side torso here. Sure, why not? Uh, ammo. Two tons of AMS ammo. I would love to have another ton so we can feed them a little bit longer, but that's alright. We don't need the hand, we don't need the mace. We need cooling. And... I don't know which cooling it's going to be. At this point I don't really know what to do with the, the rest of the mech, but let's think about it. Is it going to be a clan double heatsink kit? We don't have clan double heatsinks, but we also don't really have a lot of room in the mech because everything is filled up. I think we have to make do with the uh, emergency coolant system plus one, whatever that you know, might mean, and maybe a cool shot. Um, the other weapons that I want to put on the mech, next to, obviously, the exchanger clan and the advanced optics, Mark 1. Um, I believe it would be nice to have some kind of heat support and i could totally see myself running mml 15 and 10 here on the arm maybe and drop doesn't work ah oh, we don't have the slots hmm. weird i mean we can keep the arm here on the on the other side by the way uh the tsemp doesn't go on an arm it doesn't go on a lower arm that's a problem no, I think I wanted to do this. Now. We have Clan Inferno SRM ammo. Where to put it? Like, like here. We don't have any LRM ammo anymore. So we have to get something. This is Street Clan, by the way. And you know what? I can just quickly go up here. You can see better. Um, we have to salvage some ammo from the other... From the Avatar, maybe? Also, I don't want to get the small cockpit here. That's not a thing I would enjoy. Reinforced sensors. It gives us armor and structure. Who cares about that? 
Let me let me fix my cockpit items first. Chief Beacon would be very good here. Yes. Okay. And I think I don't want tactics and I want gunnery instead. Gunnery B. Is it going to be gunnery A as well? I think this guy doesn't need it necessarily. Again, it's a kind of like a support mech. Do we need more gunnery on another mech? That's the question. It's, honestly, I'm gonna give it here. Because I think these TS EMP cannons, they really benefit from being accurate. And the fire control system Mark II is actually not bad. Giving us evasion, ignore and gunnery. But let's see if we can find something else. By the way, gunnery important. Oh yeah, gunnery is actually important because we have a jam chance here that is mitigated by gunnery. So that's important. Same thing on the MML, by the way. Also has a jam chance mitigated by gunnery, so we should probably stack that. Then cockpit for gunnery then, huh? Let's go with this. this. Seems good. One ton of Inferno Clan. 100 shots. We have swarm ammo on the avatar that we are not really utilizing. I think I'm gonna put it into this mech as well. So it's another ton that we are using. We are at 70, I would say. Uh, give me a second. We have an internal repair system. We don't need all the armor in the world, so we can drop it back a bit. Um, actually, like this. We have 70 tons out of 75, considering the, the point of ammo. So, 5 tons. What does the heat look like? It's actually quite good as it is. I don't want to keep it right here. So, with 5 tons and very little heat threshold left over, I cannot go for cheap weapons, easy weapons, uh... Light weapons, like lasers, doesn't work. Since we don't have clan doubles. We might be able to squeeze something out of here with uh, the proto double heat sink kit. So our uh, difference, our delta is 5 right now. What if we do this? Ooh, it's worse. But it allows us to put some more protos on the mech. Getting two lasers online. Having some extra instances of damage. Would I take another MML? I think I have no MMLs anymore, right? There's an MML5 risk. Wait a sec. So what if we go with this? Goes here. Goes here. Um, No proto, but the other one. There we go. This is good. 81 to 81. Uh, I mean, we still have the cooling flush. And this is an emergency coolant system. That's also helpful. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with that. That's alright. Okay. Half a ton. Allows us to armor up. Uh, just like that. Got three tons. What are we doing with three tons? Four tons if I drop the cool flash. Uh, Chief Beacon is active probe and like everything. There is a turret mount. Getting a turret mount on an EMP is maybe a good idea. Again, accuracy on those dudes, very important. Two tons left. What are we doing with it? Any internals that are helping us out? Battlefist, claws, no. Up our recoil. A recoil. Those dudes don't have recoil, right? But recoil um, upgrades give us plus one accuracy with that arm. Maybe that's worth it. Speedy actuator. Negative stability thresholds. Plus walk distance. Mm, not a fan. I cannot swap gyros, by the way. It's a fixed item. Light engine is also fixed. Oil ballistic. Uh-uh. I feel I feel like we are we're fine here. There's nothing else that we can do. Battle computer for the sake of a battle computer. Doesn't help us. Recoil again. We don't need it. Right? We have recoil on those guys. I don't think so. It says a recoil of two. Okay, but two is not an issue for us. 
So, no battle computers yet. But we can just pretend we have battle computers and leave the build as is and... Put some battle computers in later when we find them. So, for the moment, I'm looking at support systems. Let's take a look. What do we have? There is a Narc launcher. There's a tag. Put the Narc on the arm, even. Ooh, I like the idea of a Narc on this support, dude. I really do. The Sticky Bomb? I don't really care about Sticky Bomb. The flush goes. You're slightly under cooling now. Ah. If only we had a bit of... Like one clan double heatsink kit. I would totally drop the upper recoil again. We need a ton for swarm ammo. Turret mount for accuracy drop. Mm, I guess I have to. Probably want to put it in another mech anyway. So you know what? I think I want to test this whole narc situation. I think this is good. Because we can use this guy to narc somebody and then... Follow up with massive missile damage for... From the Avatar. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Rada is ready in one day. Should have built beforehand. Could have saved the day, but that's okay. Uh, Avatar is... Wait, why are you uh, not viable? What's going on here? Too many internal heats. Oh, you can only have one. You can only have one? Well, well, well. What are you running here? Regular doubles. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, we can uh, work around that. So I'm gonna take the swarm ammo. And I wanted to give it the... Red mount. Not really. Just give it some regular doubles and we are good. Bam. Bam. Oh, not even that. Out of slots. Ah! Two tons, two slots. No! Crap! What are we doing here? Any, any battle computers that are helping here? No, recoil, no, ballistic, nope, nothing at all. I uh, got a watchdog suite. Wait a sec. Can we, can we upgrade that? Got angel. Is angel better than watchdog here? Uh, shields allies by by two, reduces enemy shielding by two. Not a thing I want, not at all. Uh, I think Watchdog is out and Angel is in, so that's good. Now we have basically one ton. I would love to take another ton of ammo, but we don't have it. Uh, so it's armor on the legs, 100%. There we go, 150, that's nice. And then that last ton. I'll be fine here with cooling. I think I'm gonna put the cool flush in here. That's all right. So, Swarm Clan, engine heat sinks plus two. Hmm. 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 That is more than plus one, isn't it? And we wanted cooling. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, there's, there's very, very tiny variation and very tiny optimization that we can do now. So again, I could go back and since he's running a 300 rated core, I could put the double, the plus two engine heat sinks in here. Getting us exactly where we want to be. And I could bring this emergency coolant system back and drop the cool shot, which is way better. But then we need to drop a ton here. What are we dropping? I would have to drop the narc again. Then I would stand before the question, what else would I put in the mech? Can I drop ammo? Not possible. Said I would drop up a recoil, huh? Okay. We don't need recoil. This was just one plus one accuracy for the arm. I think, you know what? That's gonna be our conquistador. It's gonna be glorious, it's gonna be good. I'm wasting a bit of money here, but that's alright. See, I wasn't sketching it out completely because there were so many moving parts. But hey, I'm gonna do one more thing. We take the avatar, we're gonna bring the emergency coolant system back online. Get the cool flush out. Get you in here. And we are ready to go. And then we're gonna play a mission and test that thing. It's a casual 20 minutes rebuild, but uh yeah man, thought process. You gotta follow it, huh? Let's give this guy a try. I'm very excited to bring it on the battlefield. So into the command center. And I should totally, totally go for barracks as well at some point. Um hmm. 
It's a duel. Lag out in the Badlands? No tonnage, though. What's that? Capture base. Sure. I'm gonna capture a base. Massive money, by the way. Let's see what we can do. And we probably want to drop the Nidhogg and want to get the Black Knight online. And uh, I think it's going to be Decker because we don't have any other guy who is really good at that. Bandit is fine. Sure. And then we're going to put the Nidhogg down here and get Tinker back online. Bam. Got it. Everybody's ready. We still have Verbi, the Vedette and the Urban Tank. And of course our Stormcrow now that we can possibly sell if we ever need money. And it's worth noting, we just got into the red zone. We are now five and a half lands value. Interesting. It means probably that the enemies will drop as support lands. But that's cool, because we can actually get some great salvage out of here. And yeah, the Conquistador is mainly made for running to the front line, actually. Trying to get these TSE and P shots out, absorbing damage, because it has internal repairing armor. Really good. So every turn we repair, I think, like 15 armor plates or so on each location. Or something like that. I don't know exactly. Should have checked. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be our frontliner to some extent. It's gonna be awesome. So, oh. one, uh, 1. 1.2 million Siebels and 3 out of 12. That's a great deal, honestly. Cannot wait to see what we're going to fight here. And I cannot wait to see if this is performing. The, the whole TSEMP idea, it might fall apart because we are not getting into range with those. Those have, I think, a limited range of about 500 meters, so they are rather mid-range weapons. And maybe our Conquistador is not fast enough. But again, therefore, a test mission. Let's see. And I'm also happy to have 10 additional missiles on the Avatar. That's gonna be really good. With the mine laying situation and everything. Love it. So here we go. They have a support lance. Yeah. As expected. Um, I think I want to start behind the hill. In the forest. Alrighty. Let's go! Do we have direct contact? We do have direct contact. So all of these guys have spawn protection. And they have emplacements, of course. I see a savage wolf and I'm happy. That's one of the best 75 toners that you can find. So, hardened autocannon emplacement. Hardened gauss emplacement. Assassin 23. And with the double AMS Mark II on the Conquistador and the double AMS Mark II on the uh, Nidhogg, we have a lot of missile protection. I'm gonna reserve this. They can try to shoot me indirectly all day. Unless it's... Thumper and uh, artillery and stuff like that. Orion 3. Got it. I am going to hunker down. For as long as possible. There's no need to go anywhere. Except with the Avatar. Because dropping mines early on, yeah, we missed out on an opportunity for the Savage Wolf to run over the minefield. And some of us are actually seeable, hittable. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Uh, ah, whatever. Let's make some bad decisions. Let's get speed. going. Sniper artillery and placement. That's exactly what I was talking about. Let's see if I'm sober enough to line this up. I just want to deal some random damage. This is double du double gauss, by the way. Yeah, here's the Artie. They are dropping heat on us. Interesting. The other emplacement in the back is a heavy command bunker. Ugh, nasty. Double AC20. Ooh. Okay. Let's initiate on them. Ah, there's a Gauss emplacement. I'm gonna wait for that. Now we can move. Probably wanna split up a bit for the sake of not getting hit by artillery with everybody. Can we attack this with our Artemis LRMs? The best hit chance. Um. What about we go Thunder? Um, this is all Thunder now. What is our range on that? What I want to do? I want to do that. 
The MMLs have an inferior range, you can see. They are getting grayed out. So this is the amount. Do we drop them? Do I want to even drop them? I don't think so. We need to get closer in order to make the, the best out of it. So it is just a bunch of missiles against the Gauss emplacement. By the way, I don't think this space has a generator. Okay. Alrighty, that is a good shot. That is not. Okay. Cool. Very nice. And now we can also bring the Conquistador into the fire and flames. Doesn't really matter. Can't do that. And we can shoot indirectly with swarm ammo, so that's nice. Sure. That's 40 missiles. Every point counts. Eric. Let's go. Again, splitting up. Important. Moving a bit to the right here. Uh, and then we have the bombers. Hello! Can we hit you? Oh, we can. Five times, six times with the rock. On a stationary target. That's a good chunk of hits. Same here. Yeah, let's get that uh, artillery thing down. On. There we go, he's critical now. That allows us to potentially attack him with our flyer. No? Yes? Maybe? No? Okay. It is the Gauss emplacement then, and I just hope that we have enough any next round to avoid return fire. Seconds. What if we go internal directly? Can we crit this thing? Let's try. Gauss explosion is possible, right? There's a good chunk of damage to the structure, but still here. Alright. Next. And then... Repaired armor, that's what I'm talking about. It is the Conquistador. And putting him into the enemy's line of sight makes a lot of sense because of it. We just need to make sure that we don't get too much pinpoint. And... We don't get too much focus fire. Yeah. Let's go here. Um, I wonder if I should go for my rockets. ATMs, interesting. Um, I still stay on the turret, that's for sure. But do I go for rockets as well to maybe get some criticals out of this? I think it might be a good idea. Yeah, a turret down is a turret down. And spending 30 rockets on it, I think, was totally worth it. We have less Alpha Strike now, so we might not kill a single target in one go anymore, but anyway. Right, ATMs have no power here. On the clock, what do you want? Looking good. Helapolis in range. Let's go. Guys, turn 10, but I'm gonna take care of him later. Ah. Hmm. No, I'm not. Since we couldn't fire our micro missiles, might as well go for the shot against the turret now. Sober enough to line this up. Gotta soften them up as much as possible so our flyers are safe. Gauss did not connect. Perfect. Ooh, we are getting there. Alrighty. Let's go hilt. I love the build. She has. Hilt build. Has to be the hardened to uh, Gauss emplacement that we are attacking. Where do we go? Maybe here. It has to be. Engine crit, but not destroyed. So we, that means that we have shaved off all the armor. There's, uh, there's still follow-up. Yes, it's time to be aggressive. Don't hit me with that hardened AC emplacement, please. Uh, bomb Inferno? No, we're gonna shoot the clusters here. Could be enough. Okay, down he goes. We're gonna save the Infernos. I think they are not really doing a lot later because we are in a polar environment and dropping heat once is not really impactful. But anyway, here we are. Time for the auto cannon. Bam! 
Double hit. Okay, so the AC-20 emplacement actually hit us on the front, which is good. Not that big of a deal. But still, it is a deal. Um, on the Savage Wolf now. I think this is where we go Warlord and try to get this guy. I mean, I told you that this is one of the best mechs that you can get. So let's get it. Hit him in the head. He's bleeding. 18 activations only. So let's just wait until he's shooting us to pieces. No, we cannot do it. But we have started. Maybe we are finishing him later. Huh? And shoot some swarmies? Are we doing that? Fine. Doesn't matter, really. Heal some damage. There was a chance we hit the head again. On the turret? Let's see. I think I want high initiative for next round, so we can go into the back of the Orion here. Um, but for the moment... Uh, generating too much heat. I'm not a fan. Next round we want to go all in, even with the lasers. Do you have any kind of cooling? I could disable stealth, which is not a good idea. Ah, uh, let's go. We could also follow up with this again and take the turret down for good next round. Maybe that's the better idea. Ignoring Mr. Orion here. I like that. I think I like that more. Alrighty. Also, initiative 8 on a Savage Wolf. That's perfect. Printing. Or 6. Sure. No, the facility is here now. Okay. They have turrets. Yeah, we already know that. Thank you for your information. Uh, and I need... To, I cannot go vigilant here, sadly. Because I need the result for an offensive push. So hopefully this is going to be enough. Is he down? I think he is. Yeah, we got him. Turret destroyed. Good. Good, 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 good. So it's all coming together. Assassin is no big deal, actually. But we could shoot everything here. Taking him down, like, now. Yes, the Orion has a Gauss, so therefore it needs to go. Yeah, let's do that. And steady. Uh, let's get closer even. Following up with the unsteady state. With the knockdown. This is why I love those AC5s. I don't ever want to get rid of them. Orion. Okay. So, I think we're going to stand and shoot this. Eye on. I don't know. It doesn't do anything for us, really. But hey, let's see. There we go. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm still on this on this uh, overlay on top. There we go. We got him, man. On the clock. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Perfect. Cool. You know what? Let's make some we're going to finish this now. We're going to... I wouldn't like that. Let's see if I'm sober enough to find this out. Should be enough. It's not. Interesting. Okay. Well, I would need to sit. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Cluster and Inferno bombs. Where do we want to drop them? There's an Orion here. And we can shoot his back. It's not gonna be enough, though. No, let's go for the other guy that is easy, easier to kill. He's almost down anyway, like he's almost dead anyway. So I think I'm still keeping my Infernos for later. But uh, the clusters are gonna go to the side and that should be the end of it. There's a Gauss rifle in there. Why does it not explode? Sensor mines, I don't care. It's fine. Now who's dumb for having all the arm? And, uh, yes, and this, and this. Still want to keep my rockets. There will be reinforcements coming later, so we might need them. Therefore, I'm not shooting them. That's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Alrighty. Uh, Conquistador is finally able to do a thing. Here we go. Actually, I... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go SRM here. We need 
to keep those LRMs for the potential later attack. Missed everything. Got the knockdown anyway, and a lot of heat. And down he goes. So there's that. Uh, it's a bit of fall damage as well. Went to the leg. I mean, that's fine. Mm, I can see why people enjoying this line of work. Yilt. Pushing. And we hit the Orion. Um, not really. Do we want to drop a minefield there? Give me a sec. Um, 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 active ability, attack the ground. Can shoot here. Okay. With all the missiles that we have, let's go all in with the Thunder missiles and see what those are doing with the Orion when he's moving around. Okay. I mean, we have Eric here who is absolutely able to finish off the little guy in front of him. Uh huh. Gonna save some ammo. Alrighty. So, one turret alive, one Orion alive. Are we done afterwards? How much damage? 16. Uh, that hurt a lot. Thank you for the damage. I accept it. But I really feel mines are not doing that much anymore. Dude, seriously. Look at how many mines we dropped here. That was... 70... Missile tubes? Something like that? That was insane. And he just took like 18 damage. That's nothing. I'm also gonna capture the zone already. Let's go. Hello, Command Bunker. Can I introduce you to my friend, Rock? Yeah. I can. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Right, let's go. Bloody retaliation. Let's make some bad decisions. Uh, that's gonna be a fire speed. and forget mode. I'm just gonna shred him. Let's see if I'm sober enough to find this Yep. By the way, I'm not really happy with the mortar. This mortar is not doing anything. <laughs> All the AMS. Some of the mines were actually dropped, but again, those are just sensor mines. I don't really care about that. Um, we can melee this thing. It's interesting. Arge. Sure, it's 500 damage. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's see how much damage we take in return. If we hit. Cool. <laughs> okay, we did... didn't take any i think so one more guy to kill let's move back up again and again i don't know where these uh reinforcements are going to come from so let's just hit this guy see where we are going with this swarmy damage shut down cool Get moving with the Nidhogg. Um, again, it's just one guy to kill. But hey. Do we want to try to destroy this guy completely? For the sake of... Uh, not cluttering the loot table too much. I don't know. One for leg here. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Uh, okay, so we get into the cooling scenario right. here. Let's get down. And yeah, now an obvious target. And I don't think I'm gonna shoot the mortar, but everything else is fine. I and forget. Let's go. Completely Let's obliterate that guy. I don't want enough. to salvage. So we're gonna clean up the battlefield for as much as possible. Micro missiles alone are so good. We need to make this make just a little faster though. It's getting pretty fucking warm in here. Okay. So, we're just gonna move around. I don't know, again, where the reinforcements are coming from, so... Let's see. Move it. Brace it. There we go. Uh, Decker goes here with the Conquistador. Pretty good. Unjammed. Pretty good. And yes, we need more AMS ammo. For the double AMS build that we got on the Conquistador, that is not enough ammo by far. I think I need to double it up, actually. 
I'm gonna split up a bit. And here we go. So, I really hope my enemies are coming now. Interesting. There they are. On toss. What else? Bar guy APC, not really. Scary. Poe is scary. And the marksman. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Not much I can do here. Right? Uh, 37% might still be good enough. Sparga is actually quite scary. Uh, alright. I'm gonna go vigilant here, and I'm gonna try to take him down. Not with thunder. Ah, yes, Artemis. That's what I was looking for. Exactly. I wouldn't say no to that MRM, by the way. Let's get some follow-up damage online. It's precision or is this armor piercing? 35. If we hit him, he's down. We deal 36 damage internally. That's if we hit him. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Mm, no angle. That guy's here. Decker is uh, vigilant, and Decker is trying to get the Narc Beacon online. Let's go. Uh, hmm. I think this is SRMs as well. Deals more damage. And keep in mind, we can overheat tanks. And that just happened. Beautiful. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Oh my god. Uh, let's go, everyone. I cannot sprint. I cannot confirm this move. What's going on? Farm boy. And we? I know that my own Nidhogg is in the blast radius, but I want to do it. I just want to do that. That's gonna be so epic. So, bombs, high explosives, AOE rockets, double bomb, heavy rockets. Let's finish them. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, status report of my Nidhogg, it's still fine. It's alright. And we dealt a bit of splash damage to the other guys. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, minimal, minimal damage. Nothing, nothing to be crazy about. But, we dealt damage. What matters? Okay. The other Nidhogg. The other Nidhogg. Let me see if I can hit the Ontos. Ombrek Inferno is not the best. I can, and I should have earlier, um, Sensor Lock. It's only five now. That gives us a tremendous, yeah, tremendously better hit chance. Okay. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Waiting. Now they are having their active turn, and now I'm gonna go for all of the people who are already moved. That's a pretty big tank. Uh, but he missed his sniper artillery. Good. Um, sure. I wonder if I should go for an offensive push to hit the same component multiple times. Maybe this is not necessary. If I hit anything at all. Haha, <laughs> that's one hit only. On the front. 16. Oh. Gauss rifle, tandem rockets, SRM6s, and machine guns. And that's kind of what I expected. Oh god, we are crit on the engine. Not cool. We hold this. This is getting quite volatile now, since we still have an Ontos that is uh, very, very angry at us. Um, do we go for Poe? Go for Sniper Artillery? Both have the same hit chance. We'll certainly try to get through armor damage in, right? Alright, let's try. Got him down in one go. Love to see it. Ooh! 
Almost done, guys. Two more enemies to kill. One is active right now. What's it going to be? A lot of damage on the avatar. They don't like it. And I can understand it. It has so many missiles. So much high tier equipment. What do you want? So it's important that we stay in the water to not overheat. Um, Inferno deals more damage to tanks, so we're gonna go with Inferno. Let's see if I'm sober enough to find this out. That's a kill, isn't it? It is. A beautiful. I'm legally obligated. Yeah, what do you think, guys, of the Conquistador? I am actually not entirely sure. I kind of felt like it didn't do too much, but that might be because of the nature of the mission that we are playing right now. So, no idea. I think we have to do more testing. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna stand and shoot this. Feeling comfortable. Did a thing! And we killed something, we overheated things. It's all right. I didn't feel like it was always Mission engaged, but successful. we were kind of fighting at longer ranges anyway, so... That was an all right mech, I would say. An all right run for an all right mech. Anyway, now for the fun part of it. Let's go ahead and see what we can actually take from the battlefield. And if we get a Savage Wolf, I would freak out completely, because that thing is amazeballs. Comes with a double XL engine, lots of room, lots of Omni hardpoints. You want that thing. I'm gonna refuse. It's mine. So... We have zero out of four parts. We have to get lucky in order to get it. Things I don't want. More things I don't want. Double sniper artillery? Oh, I mean, there's something. Ah, but that's not good anymore. And this is what I'm talking about. This guy is just so crazily good. We could snatch it to build it into one of our mechs. But which one? I think the Marauder would benefit from it so that we can put more stuff in it. But um, I don't want to take it. Ferro Lamella also pretty good. Uh, we got some clan doubles. Hope to see some on the loot table. I think we want. It's the Savage Wolf. It's always 100% the Savage Wolf. So, 75 tonner. Come on. Get over here. Nah, not this time. Okay. Fine, let's check out our random salvage. We got a light PPC and a narc. Okay, we can go double narc now. He has a fusion core 400. It's pretty good to have, honestly. Artemis, clan double, clan kit. No double XL though. But honestly, I am totally happy with what I've seen here. We are fine. We are absolutely fine. It has been it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.